Hey everybody, hey everybody, it's Jared Akers from bestrunningwatchreview.com and today I'm actually, you know I always have these fancy watches and all these things and GPS and I kind of, when I first started this whole thing, I actually was just looking for a GPS application to use with my iPhone, uh, free iPhone apps and I wrote a big article on it on this other side about, you know, uh, Map My Run, um, Sporty Pal, um, and there's a couple other ones, but um, but I ended up going with the running watches and the GPS watches because they just, I don't know, they seem to work better for one. And but I was going back and I realized, you know, my iPhone still has that Nike Plus. My wife actually uses that Nike Plus on your on your iPhone, and so I kind of wanted to try that out um, as well because sometimes I just want to grab my phone or just and go for a run. I don't want to, you know, get all strapped up with my heart rate monitor and all that stuff and my watch, but. Um, Anyway, just for simplicity's sake, and I want to try it out to see what it's about. So, um, see what the features are, because I keep seeing that on my iPhone. So, I got the sensor, you know, the little sensor that goes in your shoe. I don't have Nike shoes, but I got, so I got the, uh, and this, I believe, this was $19 um, on Amazon. And uh, I got the Nike Plus iPod. I'm assuming all the sensors are the same. I don't know. I, I kind of looked at the specifications and features so I think I got the right one. My I have an iPhone iPhone 4. And then I got the Sports Suite Sensor Plus by Marware. M A R W A R E and I believe this was 950. This basically makes it so you don't have to have, you know, your Nike shoes to, you know, stick your little uh, Nike Plus sensor in. It just got the, it's got this little basically this little pouch like that. And I'm sure you've seen these in the little Nike sensor thing. Goes in the pouch, and then the pouch goes over your shoelace and uh, attracts your pace and your speed and all those things. It says calories, but we'll see all uh, what it tracks and how I like it. So anyway, I'm going to take that out for a spin today for my run today and uh, see how it works later. Hey everybody, it's Jared Akers from BestRunningWatchReview.com. I just got back from my run trying out this little Nike uh, sensor, the little iPod, you know, the little thing that goes in the Marware. You know, I showed you that a minute ago. But anyway, actually that was a couple days ago when I did that first video because I couldn't get this little sensor to connect to my iPhone 4. So, of course, I go online, I do some research, and I'll put a link to that article that I found that helped me in on the post on my website where this video is actually going to point to. But anyway, um, so it said a lot of people had the problem getting the Nike sensor, Nike Plus sensor to connect to their iPhone. So it said go into uh, settings, general settings, and then reset, you know, do an all reset on your phone, just reset the settings and it wouldn't erase any data, blah, blah, blah. So of course, I'm sitting at work when I did that and then I realized, oh crap, it boots and then it says connect to iTunes. So I didn't have a phone for most of the day because I didn't realize that I'd have to connect it to iTunes, and you have to. I had to do a, a complete restore on my phone. As soon as I connected to iTunes, it did back it up. I don't know how it backed up because it on my phone it said connect to iTunes, and but anyway, it backed it up. I did a complete restore, so it restored the whole phone, all my data and everything, all my applications, some of my passwords and stuff. I had to reset for some websites, stuff like that that I had open in Safari, but but after that, the sensor would connect. I mean, before that, the sensor just would not connect, and the lady kept going, you know, on the iPhone on the Nike Plus thing on your iPhone, she goes, walk around to connect your sensor. Walk around. And I was like, lady, I'm walking around. It's not working. So, and I tried resetting it several times. The little sensor has a little reset. So anyway, I got that to work. I took it out for a spin, went out for a run. It's okay. I kind of like the voice, you know, it's kind of nice. But um, one of the things, you know, like it says, I did the 5K run and it said, you know, you're one kilometer. It tells you, it, can't, it tells you when you've went certain distances when you're halfway tells you when you're 400 meters out, 100 meters counts down, and uh, I didn't use the power song, you know, so you can have a power song that kicks up at the end, and um, and the pace was off quite a bit, um, it said I was, uh, like, most of the time, like a seven something pace for a mile, which is not correct, um, but I know that I calibrated it too after I ran, so, like, for instance, I did the 5K, and I also had my Garmin 305 with me, and, uh, when I was at 5K, which is 3.1 miles, my Garmin said I was at 2.84 miles. So, so it was off a little bit. But then after the run, 
I calibrated it to what the actual distance was. And it makes sense because it's a foot pod sensor, you know, it measures distance with your strike of your foot. It's not GPS, so I understand that. But so it's okay, all in all. It's all right. Um, I like, you know, I like the GPS functionality better, um, I think. But um, and I have been running a lot lately without my headphones because I like to listen to myself breathe and kind of meditate, you know, and and listen and stuff when I'm running. And so that's kind of so anyway, uh, that's for the uh, Nike Plus uh, sensor. And I am anxious to upload this data to the Nike Plus website because I hear that's pretty cool. So we'll see what that's all about. But anyway, that's it for the iPhone 4 and the Nike Plus uh, foot pod sensor. Um, not bad. Pretty good. Take it easy.